This week we've been listening to St. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, in which he relates to that Christian community what are the effects and what are the consequences of having undergone a conversion. In other words, of having made more room and specific room for Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior in their hearts. As such, he goes on at length in this beautiful passage talking about a treasure, a treasure that we contain a deep within us because of this profound conversion, because of this turning more towards the Lord. And so he says in a passage so familiar to us that we have this treasure, but in clay vessels, so that it may be made clear that this extraordinary power belongs to God and does not come from us. So specifically speaking of this treasure, are we speaking only of a spiritual reality, a metaphor for having Jesus more in our hearts? Yes, that's true. We could be saying that. But it's also an opportunity for us to contemplate that we, this clay vessel, in other words, this fragile and sort of shabby looking thing has placed within it a treasure of unmatched significance. And that treasure is the Holy Eucharist. Every time we receive our Lord worthily and well into our hearts in Holy Communion, we are bringing to life the meaning of this passage. That we, although only earthen vessels, clay pots, have placed within us this treasure of the Holy Eucharist. Treasure chests don't give much thought to being treasure chests because they're just boxes. But we are not just boxes. We have hearts and minds and souls. We have the capacity to contemplate what it means to be us. Do we contemplate, do we think about what it means to be God's treasure chests that he entrusts by depositing into us his most prized and precious gift, that of his son, in his own flesh and blood. In other words, all of him, all that makes him truly who he is, is held for safekeeping within our hearts. This is something that we must never grow tired of thinking about. On a day when one makes her first Holy Communion, that is a special reason to think of what it means to receive the Lord into our hearts for the first time. Whenever I talk about First Communion with the children, I remind them of a YouTube video I saw not that long ago, of a nun who was turning 105 years old. And she had been in religious life for 85 years. And she was asked by this Italian interviewer, Sister, what is your secret? She said, my secret? I have received our Lord in Holy Communion every day of my religious life every day for 85 years, that perfect union with Christ, as perfect as it gets here on earth. It's easy to see in her a treasure chest, but that is what we are all called to be. And as often as we come to the Holy Mass, and as often as we unite ourselves with our Lord in the Eucharist, we have to consider what that means for us what he is saying to us and about us in that act. So that, as the Eucharist means thanksgiving, we never cease our whole lives long to give thanks for being God's treasure chest.